Okay, so this is gonna be another day in the life video. Now, I'm running a bit late. It is half seven, not even at the job yet. I wanted to be at the job by around 8 a.m. and get ready and sorted because I've got a lot to do today. I have a lot to do today. Right now, I'm at the builders merchants to get some materials. So yeah. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how much I've made, how I've got the job and stuff like that. So, yeah. job previously i fitted a door frame here and it's all been plastered and painted and looks all nice in here so today i'm fitting the architrave the skirt in and there's a bit of squeaky floorboards which i need to sort out as you can hear I'm gonna have to go back to the builders merchant to get some more floorboards, but yeah, just sorting out the floorboards today. <laughs> This area, I noticed there was a bit of a dip in the floor. So here, I'm just using my multi tool to cut along the joist to take out the floorboard so I can assess underneath what's going on. Gonna replace a portion of this area um, so most of this is going to be new I'm gonna put some old pieces in um, the pieces that I can use I'm gonna put some old pieces in and then I'm also going to I need to do some repairs up here also some repairs to the joist so just add a bit of timber on so um, it'll sort that out over in that section over here and as you can see here I'm gonna have to put extra supports because the floorboard that was originally here dipped down and that's because it's not resting on any joists in this part here. So there's literally, it's, it was literally just dipping because no joist is supporting it here, no joist is supporting it here. So yeah, it's just here and here. It was supported so it was dipping in the middle. So I'm gonna have to put some blocks of timber in to support it. So right now, I need to get some extra floorboards and I need to get some fixings. So some screws and extra some screws and extra fixings. So some screws and extra floor some screws and extra floorboards, okay? So that's what I need to do now. 
So right now, I'm just measuring up for the floorboards and then I'll go to the builder's merchant to get what I need. Okay, so now we're back at the job. Here, I'm just adding some supports so that the floorboard on top will be supported. I also need to do the same type of thing to this area here. As you can see, um, they've chopped out way too much to run these pipes. Like, all of this is chopped out, all of this is chopped out. So, I need to add a block in here and I've and I'm gonna notch out the block to suit these pipes. So I'm just gonna notch it out and then fix it to the joist. And then um, once I've done that, the floorboard can rest on this timber instead of just being, being floating in this corner. Because at the moment there's nothing for the floorboard to rest on. So I need to put this block on so it gives some support to this floorboard. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And on the Evolution miter saw, it's got a handy feature to do the depth. So, if you want to go the full depth, you just flick this up here. If you want to do a bit of depth adjustment, literally, you flick this down, tighten it, untighten it. is the correct depth so yeah now this timber now this floorboard has something to rest on okay so now that I've added the timber support I can now start fitting the floorboards because this bit is kind of repetitive I am going to do a little edit here and show you how I finish this job while throwing some text on the screen hope you enjoy Told a customer and trying to eat healthy, and this is what he brought up. Nice. While I'm taking a quick break, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching this far for the video. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you can leave a like and comment, that'll be amazing. My upload schedule has been a bit all over the place at the moment. That's because I've had a lot going on. I've had a lot of different jobs going on and my van has been broken down and I've just had a lot going on. So I am sorry about that. But from this week, I will start posting weekly again. Thank you for your continued support and I appreciate you all. Thank you. Now that the break's done, let's continue with the edit.
recorded, it's time to do the archetype and skirting. So I'm going to quickly do the skirting and archetype. See how the plaster board's moving? It's because the plasterer, who, well, whoever plastered or put the boards on, didn't put enough fixings in at the bottom. So all along here, it's been moving. So I'm also adding screws and I'm doing what the plasterers should have done, which is secure the plasterboard properly. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> And once all this is done, the client can then start putting the carpet down and putting all the furniture in. And this is what it looks like once everything's in. We can't see the floorboards anymore, but they are all secured, supported, and the client has no squeaks in the floor. At a later date, I'll also be building the cupboard to fit here. Okay, so the moment a lot of you may have been waiting for, how much did I make on this job and how did I even get the job? So I do this for the people starting out. So how do I get my jobs? I just tell you how I got the job on each job and how much I make, well, charge for each job, just to help the people starting out and the curious people. Okay, so how much did I make on this job first? So on this job, it was initially meant to do just the skirting and architrive and just for fitting the skirting and architrive i charged 250 so yeah 250 for the skirting and architrive and then after that he added um the flooring so he wanted the floor repaired so i says to him okay we can do a deal and it would have been 500 if it was on separate days so it would have been 
250 and then I would have charged him another 250 if it was on separate days but I done him a deal because it was all on the same day and for that job I charged 400 pound so yeah that day I made 400 pound and then obviously tax needs to come off that and that price is not including materials to be honest the smaller jobs I would class that as a relatively small job I kind of make it more than the bigger jobs because I'm on a full refurb I've done plenty of full refurbs and me doing consistent small jobs I make more on the kiss I make more on the consistent small jobs than the big refurbs nine times out of ten <laughs> So that's why you normally see me doing the smaller jobs because one is less stress and two I'm making more money. So I don't know if anyone else is having that as well or I don't know. But yeah, that's how much I usually make. It's anywhere to 250 to 400 a day. Sometimes it's even a bit more. So yeah. And how did I get this job? So on this specific job, my customer found me through social media, specifically YouTube. He found me on YouTube. So he watches my videos. He's probably watching this video. So hello, if you are. Um, but yeah, um, got it through YouTube and I get my jobs through a lot of different ways, word of mouth, social media, some apps, um, just like that. But I am going to do a complete video on how I get my jobs, all the ways I get my jobs. So if you're starting a business, then help you out a bit. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I will start posting more consistent. I've just been really busy on refurbs and a lot of different jobs and my van broke down. But yeah um yeah but i will start posting consistently thank you everyone for the support and like subscribe if you can and goodbye